Alright, what up guys, Dante Fido here, and bringing you Sephiroth Extreme this time around. I uh, got my super sweet freaking Zervan Sword, which matches this gear like perfectly. I think it's awesome. I'll probably be using this till Stormblood comes out, unless uh, they do add a 275 step to that and make it look cooler. So, yeah, we're gonna do Sephiroth. And just so I can try to get all of the EDS primals within Heavenly War while it's still relevant. So, this is a farm party, we just clear it once. And I'm hoping we don't completely suck again. It was a little sloppy. Hopefully, they clean it up this time, and it's good. So, I'm gonna be main tanking, as always. That's what I do. I'm gonna main tank. Um, I'll go ahead and start the full timer and go over the shit as it happens. I'm already pulling, doesn't matter. Okay, so first thing you want to do is actually a long distance pull. You want to pull Sephiroth to the middle and then immediately spin him around because he does a lot of AoE moves and like cleaves and shit, and you just want to keep him in the middle. But you've actually got to move him around when he does uh, these four orbs, and just having him in the middle is the easiest spot to do that. So. He wasn't ready. Oh, well. so they're gonna be ready now. Okay, yeah, so here's this move. So I need to drag him this way. And then he's gonna jump on two people, and that needs to be split between the healers and the off tank, and then the four DPS. And I need to not get hit by it at all, or I will get a debuff and get one shot in. And that's gonna disappear, and we're gonna pull him back into the middle again. Now he's going to do a Taint Buster, and then follow it up with a really strong uh, AoE Cleave. Yeah, that right there, Triple Trial. So you just kind of want to pop a, a cooldown just so you're not getting one shot by those in case for whatever reason you don't get healed. Okay, so now he's going to do that, and we want to bait him out so that he does his massive AoE. Okay, so I'm going to get marked, I'm marked, and then we're all going to run and split up, hopefully, kind of, sort of. Yeah, that was good enough. <laughs> um, yeah, basically you just do what we did there. You kind of split the group up, and uh, usually you want to have oh, this is a tank buster. Usually you want to have the uh, person who's marked purple sit on his butt, and then the people who go um, to the other side just kind of spread out around that because he does a massive cleave in front of him, and that's it. So I'm going to tank the Kakma here because it hits with magic damage, and being a Dark Knight, I have a really good magic resist. So I can pop Dark Mind when I need to. So then the off tank will just pick up the smaller adds, who I believe hit for physical. And that's pretty much it. And when these guys explode, they do a crap ton of damage. So just healers basically just watch the health, and as it gets down, just heal. Get Kakuma right here. No, we're not. More abs. I guess I'll pick the pop up price gets my feet back. Yeah, not really. Everything dies pretty quick. I think the I think this is a farm group and the guy made the minimum item level 255. And Sephiroth himself drops 225 gear. I think the minimum level to enter was like 205 back in the day. So we're we're pretty far ahead of this content, so. He's got a crap ton of health, though. You'll definitely still see all of the phases. Should cycle through about once before he's dead. Gotta do my wicked sweet victory pose. Yeah. Alright, and then we're gonna bait out um, this move right here. So when you all spread out, you get hit. Alright, now he's gonna mark uh, everybody into two groups orange and green. Uh, I'm green. And if you're orange, you need to stack in the power because that gives you physical resist. And if you're orange, or if you're green, you need to stack in front of him to grab a tether that uh, gives you magic resist. So everybody who's green is going to stack forward, and the people who are orange are going to be in those powers. All right, so we're going to grab a tether. All right, we all have one. Yeah, see, 
we take zero damage because we got the, the debuff that gives us three distance. And then we run back out. Cool, cool orange, get back in those towers. And we're good. And we just need to make sure you're on your side one more time. And then it's gonna go away. And then he's gonna do Earth Shakers, healers go right, DPS go left, dodge down the middle, avoid all the things. He's gonna do that. That's the magic damage one, so I'm gonna pop Dark Nine just to mitigate it. And then he's immediately gonna follow it up with the tower move. And this is really the only time I specifically get hit, so I mean, I just pop cooldowns for it, because, yeah, because I can. <laughs> Other than that, he doesn't. He doesn't actually target the tank, he just does moves. So, when I actually am going to actually get hit, I'll pop the cooldown. Now we're gonna bait out his fist. Side. Punches his own fist. That guy got wrecked. And another one here. Out, standing in that green shit. That one's gonna go away. So then you're gonna go here. And we're good. There's Earthshakers again. And I believe immediately after Earthshakers is gonna be Diat. Or Diet. So that's this. So this kind of cleaves, so I just stay off to the side so I don't hit anybody with the one that hits me. While dodging those, we're gonna get another power, pop shadow skin, shadow wall. We're good. Get that. Right, so now he's gonna do the move where he blows us all back and he's gonna spawn up ads at the same time. And when he does, I'm going to pick them up and drag them to the middle so that we can just one shot them with this LB. As soon as it goes off, we need to get back into the towers again. That's gonna go off too, dodge that. And that dude died again, I think. Yes, it did. <laughs> Alright, and then he's gonna do another move that we just made out, dodge. Wait for it. Wait for it, there it is. Alright. When he does that and we don't have any colors, it's just kind of like a big AoE. You just, like, that dude just you can medicate too through it. Alright, so now he's gonna slam his fist down here. Not back a little bit. Stack in this so that he can just punch us on the face, basically. Snap. But then you dodge it. I do need to accept that res so that he freaking gets the aura that we're about to get. Or he's gonna screw this shit up. Is he up in time? Nope! Oh, yes he is. Oh wow. Okay, so he... we got orange. So they're gonna go left and right. Alright. Actually, and then this is it. This is everything just starting over again. So yeah, it doesn't even matter. We already played him. GG! And we got word of Sephiroth again. So yeah. That was Sephiroth at stream. Done fairly well. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm still working on a deserving video, and I'll also bring you Song All Heart as well. 